Okay, more sloppy errors. This one relates to solving linear equations. This is the worst case scenario, but plan for the worst, hope for the best. Check this out. All right, pause the video. Have a go at this one. Come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. Now, most people here will just not think. But normally with these equations, you take you take all the x's off one side. So some people will try, will say, look, oh, I'm, I'm going to take away three x's on both sides. And they'll, they'll get this. They'll say, oh, that means so four take away three is one x. And then the right hand side goes away. That is wrong and rubbish. Okay, remember that only works if the x's are positive. In this case, this is a negative three x. So to get rid of it, you wouldn't take it away. Minus three minus three is minus six. You have to add the three x on instead to both sides. Okay, so in this case, you add three x to both sides. Four x add three x is seven x. And now on the right hand side, these will go away and you get 47. Let's solve number as usual, take off the five, gives you 42 and then divide by the seven and you get X equals six, job done. So easy if you don't make the sloppy error. Right, pause the video, have a go at this one, come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. Now with this one, all right, you might wanna put a one here to remind you that negative X stands for negative one X. So in this case, you would just add one X to both sides or, you know, same as adding X looks better, okay? So 11 X add X is 12 X. And of course the right hand side, the minus X will go away, all right? And then this time you'd add the three on, you get 60, then divide by 12 and you get X equals five. Okay, so remember, think about these, don't make that sloppy error. Nice one.